so. Tub updates. This is our uh, fourth season now of hot tubs, inflatable hot tubs. The Lazy Spa Vegas. And uh, we had that for two years and now we've got the Samaritz. This is our second season. We put this away in the winter, but took it out again a couple of months ago because I think it damages them when you um, when you put them away. They don't deflate very good, especially in the cold. It's all right deflating on a hot day when it's supple, but uh, we decided to leave it up. One problem we've got is the gazebo. We had um, a oh, what we call one of them foldable ones, which worked all right. But it's quite windy where we are. We flew away, and it and it crushed it and ripped it. So we bought this one two years ago. This like metal framed one, and it came with a cover. The cover was okay. But you'd only get a year out of it. And, uh, we had some strong winds, got a bit faded and it ripped. So last year we had a new cover, a green cover, and that was that was okay. But then again we had some strong winds again and that ended up getting ripped at the end of the season, lasted us the year. So this year I just bought this off Amazon. It's absolutely crap. Um, it looks like it was measured by Ray Charles and stitched together by Stevie Wonder. It's all out of square. It hasn't got anything like enough Velcro straps on it. As you can see here, blowing in the wind. When it rains, the rain catches in here and just pools in really badly. It's a complete and utter nightmare so that we are going to, well I've ordered a gazebo from Dumpster House, uh, a wooden gazebo kit which I'm going to put up which is a bit more permanent you know. Anyway back to the hot tub. So it's a second year, it's great, we love it, it's bigger, it's um, just under 1200 litres, the other one was 800, Lazy Spa Vegas. One problem we've got, not a problem, is that in the um, manual it says it will maintain blissfully hot 40 degrees C. That's not true because a lot depends on the outside air temperature. Because the bubbles and the blower draw in air from the outside. And that water comes in the bottom. So you're getting cold air bubbles blowing into the water, reducing the heat. Now on the Lazy Spa, Vegas, it didn't heat all the time. It used to drop quite quickly. This has been on now for an hour. It's dropped from 39 to 35. It certainly doesn't maintain 40 degrees. The outside temperature was 21 degrees when we started. And it's now, uh, I think it's about eight. It's about 18 degrees now, six, 16 to 18 degrees. But we can't really moan because you, you do get two two half hour runs out of it for, uh, before it starts to get 35, it starts to feel a bit cool then, unless it's the height of the summer, you know. But uh, this has been a, this is a disaster. I complained and he said, oh, send us some photographs and I can't be bothered, it's 23 quid, what a nightmare. Look at it, it's like a parachute. Anyway where we are. It's the latest update. We've got um, a dumpster one coming soon. Oh, I fixed my puncture. I had a puncture in the lid and then I put a patch on and it came off. Um, this is to do with taking it down and putting it away. It gets damaged. So I put another patch on and I used a heat gun to give it a little bit of heat and it stayed up, stayed up pretty well. That's the patch there. Yeah. There you go. Apart from that, we love it. We've got a little, uh, got a little biddy rake for getting biddies out. There's one there. Yeah. 
Got to have one of them. Anyway, that's it. Uh, the other video's got the filters and stuff, which is the same as this. This has got the same filter as the Lazy Spa Vegas. There you go. Fantastic. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't buy one of these gazebo um, tops. 3 meter by 3 meter from Amazon. A complete and utter waste of money. See ya.